Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Josh Agoda. Welcome back to this week's episode, and today we're gonna discuss lateral hip stability as it relates to knee pain. One of the most common presentations that people come up with is what we call knee valgus or knee knocking syndrome, and that's when a patient presents with a knee valgus, such as this. They call it knee knocking, as I said before, is because people will walk and they'll feel these these kind of knees kind of slap together and sometimes in severe cases you can actually see the insides of the knees that kind of like rub up against each other like this and you'll see some reddening in there and what we're going to do today is try to discuss how the lateral hip stability relates to this knee pain and also how to fix it so when somebody doesn't have the lateral hip stability that we're talking about what's going to happen is that they're going to present in this type of fashion like i just said this is easily diagnosed by a few tests one of them being just standing on one one hip like this or one leg like this so in a patient who presents with weakness in the lateral stability of the hip will kind of have this corkscrewing mechanism going on so they'll kind of present like this their ankle will sta be stable their knee will be stable again their hip is not stable so what they're going to do is kind of create this type of torquing mechanism where the knee will glide inward and as a result they'll be kind of like this type of type of presentation and that's a great indication that the hip stability is not there so as a result their body has to compensate over knee over that knee and that will also force that knee inward so that can create a whole host of issues such as meniscus acl MCL sprains, strains, all these other chronic conditions that can lead lead to you know further complications down the road. So if you present with this, or if you know somebody who presents with this, you can also do a squat scan or squat test. And what you'll start doing is, is as somebody starts to squat, they'll start bringing their knees in like this. So one of the ways to correct that is with a simple theraband or a short band. This is not a short band. I just tied one together. So for demonstration purposes, what we'll do is we'll step inside here on both sides, okay? What you'll have is the inside here, or above the knee, I'm sorry, above the knee it'll be, and as you'll get that patient to squat down, what they'll start doing is this. But remember, the resistance band is going to be pulling inward, this way and you're going to have to force your legs outward and that will create firing of the glute medius or the lateral hip stability muscles. And so that'll help fix. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the patient or, the, or yourself in this position, you'll get down to that squatting position, the valgus will start to come and at that valgus part, just before that valgus starts to again to, to begin, you wanna fire those motor patterns outward. So again, it's gonna look, as you start to valgus in or hit, put that in, you're gonna fire out and then you're gonna hold. If you need a weight, that might even help you get into that stability or that squat a little bit better. But what I would also recommend is doing just lateral hip raises to help fire that muscle. Again, this is a closed chain exercise, so you're gonna have a little bit more um, uh, more stability re required in both hips. So what you'll do again, you'll go down into this position and you'll externally rotate a little bit against the resistance of the band. You don't want to overly rotate and because that, that can create some other issues. But what you want to do is just meet the resistance of the band and if you want to get a little more advanced, you can kind of sway back and forth to add a little bit of that stability and you can really feel those fire. Okay, that is just a quick way to fix knee valgus in relation to a instable lateral hip muscles or the glute medius. I hope this served you well. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.